to collect myself. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> I would say more like collect myself. <laughs> Rather than collect myself. <laughs> what does collect myself mean? It's a day of reflection. I, I need to reflect tomorrow. I need a day to just take a very long, deep breath, you know, like a leave, a leave of absence to go into another dimension. And I usually come back in a, in a different state of mind. So tomorrow the Pope will be giving his, his malarkey at the UN. Wait until you see that charade. And then the next day, he gives the malarkey, and I'll be back for that, God willing, before the U.S. Congress. Can't wait for that day. And I'll, I'll just read more from Government Zero, because I wrote it down. I was very critical of his messages as I was writing it, because anyone could see what he was doing. And since I have a background in science, I figured I could take on his lies uh, about this, this issue. This is what the problem is. It has nothing to do with Catholicism. It has everything to do with Leninism, Marxism, progressivism, socialism, taking over your life, destroying your freedom. And I, as I said to you yesterday, and I think it's a very, very important point. In the old days, they did it with screaming and yelling, the dictators. Castro was a fiery, murderous leader. And, in so, and so he took over a country by killing his opponents. And then after he g gained total power... He then killed his friends, his allies, who fought with him in the Sierra Mastre. Exactly what all communists do. Di the dictators are all the same. Stalin purged himself of those who fought with him. Mao Zedong purged himself of those who fought with him in the early days. Hitler killed the, uh, the, those who fought with him in the street thugs, Ernst Röhm and the brown shirts. After he got total power, he killed them off because he didn't want any competition. Very interesting how it was done in those days, but not today. It's done softly today. It's done nicely. Look how far Obama's gotten without screaming and yelling once. Have you ever seen him lose his temper? You got to give this guy credit for self-control. I never saw him yell and scream. This guy is the most controlled maniac I've ever seen in my life. A zealot unlike any we've ever seen. Totally self-controlled. And look how far he's gotten. The women love him. They don't like men who yell and scream. They like quiet men, nice men, men who go on vacations in Martha's Vineyard with billionaires and trillionaires and then talk about the poor. They eat it up. They say, isn't that hypocrisy? The president goes to Martha's Vineyard every year with billionaires and stays in billionaires' houses and talks about the poor? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The medium is the message. Remember we learned that in the 60s from Marshall McLuhan? The medium is the message. They show him as a nice man, so he is a nice man. Pope is a nice old man, so he is a nice old man. Doesn't matter what they're saying. It doesn't. You wait and see whether it doesn't. You wait and see what happens. We have government zero now. We have zero religion. That's what's happening. It's all coming together rather nicely, being pulled uh, over your eyes, in the most alarming way, because it's the quietest alarming way. I mean, after all, if there were marching bands in the streets threatening to burn things down and put you in jail, you'd fight against it. But when it's done quietly, why well, there's no op nothing to oppose. There's actually a name for this kind of communist revolution. It's been studied in great detail. Many of you know the names of it from my previous books. There's no need in categorizing it again and again and again. It's a, it's a very smooth way of destroying a society from within, brainwashing the children the way Mao Zedong did, which is why Obama said a few weeks ago, my children, he said, my daughters, totally accept global warming as real science, he said. And as the older generation dies off, the newer generation will embrace global warming. He said that. And he's right. They brainwashed an entire generation of young people. Children know nothing about history, nothing about history. Now know nothing about science. It's all garbage, junk science forced down their throat, brainwashed. And now we have no way to turn. If you can't turn to religion, where are you going to turn? Well, let me tell you, you can turn to religion because the Pope is not religion. The Pope is Religion Incorporated, which is why I began the show with Lenny Bruce, Religion Incorporated. The religion will stand for thousands of years after this man leaves. And maybe, just maybe, the Catholic Church will recover from this 
this age of uh, embracing communism, overt Marxism. It's what it is. All the encyclicals are right out of the Marxist playbook. I mean, why, why fool yourself? Don't, don't, uh, you know, don't paint it another color. That's what it is. Read the language, see what it says. So as I say to you, the church should survive and God is eternal. God's not affected by man. Man is affected by God and the Pope is just a man. So have faith in God. How's that? Does that work for you logically? I'll be back in a second. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. I want to you know, thank God for giving me the health and the strength to be on the air today and to bring me to this time in human history. Uh, but never did I think that I would witness such propaganda being passed off as divine knowledge in my lifetime and not laughed, laughed at. And just remember what I said earlier, God is not affected by man, man is affected by God. And the Pope is just a man, so have faith in God, not man. You can keep going to church and praying to God and we will survive uh, this crackpot. This man actually trots out one of Marxist theories that is so discredited, even modern day Marxists have backed away from it. And I have it all in government zero. I studied this Pope and his encyclicals for a long time now. This is not just a radio host espousing anti-Catholic beliefs. I am a scholar. I have studied this liar. And it's all in my book. Production now he's talking about and distribution. Marx's theory of overproduction was a foundational plank in Das Kapital or Kapital in English. Exactly what the Pope is espousing today. Marx argued that a capitalist system results in firms producing so much that they force down the prices of their own goods, thereby diminishing profits and ultimately necessitating layoffs. Guess what? He was wrong. Even the Soviets found that out. And I conclude my chapter in Government Zero with uh, this. I said, Obama, the Pope, and the rest of the Marxist progressives want to employ the same model as Karl Marx did on a worldwide scale. Heaven help us if they succeed. Well, it's not a heavenly, a heavenly intervention we need. We need a Congress to intervene immediately and impeach President Obama without any chance of succeeding and expose him before he destroys the last vestiges of this nation, the military.